Oftentimes I need to write ISO images on my USB stick for variety of reasons, mainly to test a new version of OpenBSD on my Esper hardware. On Linux there is this beautiful application called Etcher that provides you with a fancy UI to ease the entire process, but Etcher is not available on OpenBSD since support of Electron is limited. And also why would somebody use Etcher to do such a simple task and waste hundreds megabytes of RAM for such a simple operation again. So on OpenBSD we have to use DD command. DD stands for disk dump or destroy disk. Some people use it jokingly of course and the process is more or less similar to Linux but it has a very small gotcha on OpenBSD that just you need to know. So let's begin. The first thing is to open X console because we don't want to put the wrong target and destroy the hard drive content instead. So now I'm going to connect the USB stick. We have some logs and and the device actually is accessible through a slash dev sd2. So here I have Debian ISO image. We try to write that one to my USB stick. DD if input file this one and then of output file or target a slash dev a slash sd2. Here is the gotcha. If you execute this command on Linux, it works perfectly, but it doesn't on OpenBSD and also it doesn't give you any sort of error. On OpenBSD, you have to actually tell the DD command to access this device at the raw I.O. level instead of block level. So for that one, RSD2, then after that, suffix the whatever the device name with C, which is, which is the disk label C. Why it is like that on OpenBSD, I don't exactly know, but but I'm assuming that if you search on the internet, you will find many reasons and a good justification for it. The next argument is BS. This one doesn't stand for bullshit. Actually, this one is block size. So you can pass 1M or 1 megabyte. If you are a Linux user, probably you have seen something like a status equals to progress to give you some sort of update on what's the progress of writing. But this argument is not supported on OpenBSD. So you have to just remove it and then double check everything, prefix the command with do as, run it, give the password and you are done. That's all for this video. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a great time. Cheers.